Here comes Bosa. Here comes the quarterback, Burrow. Looking for a block, and he got it up on the front by Hopkins into the end zone. Touchdown! Fakes, throwing to the end zone, wide open. It's Higgins for the Cincinnati touchdown. There's the sneak. Burrow gets low, driving towards the goal line. He's inside the one, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. Welcome to New Stripe City, a YouTube channel for diehard Bengals fans. I'm your host, Ace Boogie, and today we're going to talk about Cheeto Bay Awuzie and his impact and what I think his impact will be for the Bengals next year. I think Cheeto is honestly the most underrated signer for the Bengals, right? He's going to be an outside corner for the Bengals. He was a former high round pick in the draft by the Cowboys. I think a lot of people are sleeping on the type of impact that he will make. Now, I'm not saying that he's gonna come in and be a Jalen Ramsey or do something that's crazy like that, but I do think that he'll be a very solid corner and I think that he'll help out in a tremendous way, especially across from Trey Waynes. I think that those two guys out on the outside will provide something different than what the Bengals have had in years past. Now, not to say that he's going to replace William Jackson III or anything like that, but I think that the Bengals are a lot more athletic at the position. I think that they have more size, and I think that they have some guys that are going to be a lot more physical than what we've seen in the past. Now, obviously, Cheeto did come from a bad situation with the Cowboys, but that wasn't solely on him. I mean, everybody over there didn't play up the par, and I think that with him being a high round draft pick, a lot of the blame got tossed his way. But I think that he's showing and he showed in the past that he can be a pretty solid corner uh, that you're looking for, especially on the outside. And another thing that's important is how healthy can he stay? Uh, those are other things with durability and things like that that will have caused issues for the Bengals in, this, in the secondary last season. I mean, we saw it with guys that were pretty much on the practice squad getting reps and admirable playing time uh, when they shouldn't have been in there, right? So I think that that's what Cheeto is going to bring. He's going to bring some durability there. I think he's going to bring some consistency there. Yeah, he may be get beat on some plays, but I mean, what corner honestly does it? I mean, this is a pass lead. This is a passing lead, and I think that um, he's going to be able to step up to the punch. I mean, I've really had uh, Watch Lombardi on, and we talked about it. And I think that Watch is a guy that breaks down film. He's a huge avid Cowboys fan, and he said that Cheeto is way better than people really give him credit for. So I think that the expectations for him are probably low, but I think that he's gonna be a good signing. I think that this is gonna be one when the Bengals look back on it, they're gonna say that that was possibly a steal. And I think that Cheeto will set them up well in the future. He's still very young. He still has a lot of promise. And I think that he can bring a different dimension to this defense. Now, it's hard coming in and stepping in for William Jackson III, but that's not really who he's honestly stepping in for, he's really stepping in at that second spot. Now, the way that they've been played at camp, it seems that Shido is playing on one side and Trey Waynes is playing exclusively on, a, on another side. So we'll have to see if that continues. But right now, he's doing an admirable job from what I've seen highlight-wise in camp. Uh, obviously, there's these guys aren't able to jam or do any of those things. But I like what I've seen from Cheeto. I think that he brings something new to the Bengals defense. And I think that that secondary is going to be, once again, the strength of the defense. Uh, now we just need to make sure that we can get some kind of pass rush to kind of form and happen and help those guys out. But I think that Cheeto bag is going to be a great addition. I think we'll be talking about this one by the end of the season as, man, that was a great addition. Similar, even though they played different positions, I think it's similar to Mackenzie Alexander, where it was a pleasant surprise. I think you got a lot of similarities there with guys that were um, top picks in the draft when you're talking about first to second round. Um, so you're bringing those guys in. I think that they're going to assimilate to this defense. I, I will say, I think that Lou Anarumu, with him being a secondary coach, I think that that also plays in the Cheetos' advantage because he's looking for certain things in his corners. And I think that he can bring those things out of him. I mean, we saw what he did with Jesse Bates last season. Uh, Jesse Bates, I think, was already a good safety. I think he made him a great one. Now, that's not to say that these players aren't making improvements themselves because I would never say that Jesse Bates isn't a great safety but I think that it helps because he knows what it's like to be a secondary coach he knows what to look for he knows how to get the best out of them and so 
I think we saw a similar effect when Mike Zimmer was the defensive coordinator and he was a former uh, cornerbacks coach himself, Coach Dion and things of that nature. And you saw guys like Pac-Man, Terrence Newman, and guys kind of improve, right? When you have the right coaching and the right player and the talent there, that coach can get that talent up out of that player. So I think that Cheeto is going to be another one of those cases. And I'm looking forward to what Cheeto is going to bring. I, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, I think we're going to say that Cheeto Bay Awuzie is going to be the most underrated signing of this offseason and possibly one of the most important ones of this offseason season. So you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you're new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. But as usual, I'll leave you guys with a who day, all day, every day, and especially on Sunday.